This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar exploring the new cut page in DaVinci Resolve 17. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this short video tutorial, I'll show you how to add and modify transitions applied to clips in the cut page. I'm going to take my interview here and, and put, um, put it in here, put it out here, shift 12, put it in here, put it out here, shift 12, put it in here and out here, shift 12, F, that's F12. I should now have three clips in the timeline. I missed one. Okay, we'll do this one and this one. And I'm going to insert right there. And now we see we've got three clips in the timeline. And they're all close-ups. Harumph. So I'm going to select this edit point. With this button, I can cut between clips, which is fine. Or I can dissolve between clips. And as I play this, it dissolves which isn't bad, and when you've got a jump cut, sometimes it's the only thing you can do. I'll delete that for a second. We'll click down here, highlight it. Notice it turns red, which means it's selected. Or I can put my playhead on the edit point, that's important, and go to the smooth cut. What the smooth cut does, and I'm going to use the arrow cues to move through, is it morphs from one clip to the next. If I play it in real time, it looks like this. It's not a dissolve, and it's not a cut. It's more of a morph. Now, it's not morphing in terms of changing the shape of his head, but it's a third cut. Let's go back to a dissolve. Put our playhead on the edit we want to achieve, add the dissolve, select it, and go up to the inspector. This allows me to change what kind of dissolve it is. Do I want to do a barn door wipe? Oh, I hope not. Or I've got, <laughs> got triangles and square irises and spiral. If I catch you using a spiral wipe and it's not a kid's show, I'm going to yell at you so much. Anyway, we've got all these choices. We're going to go back to a cross dissolve. We can determine the frame. We can have the dissolve end at the out, start at the in, or center on the edit point. It can be video or it can have various blend modes associated with it. You've got, look at the controls that you've got in terms of that adjustment. I can, of course, change the length here by dragging inside the timeline. But I can make additional changes by going up to the inspector, selecting the transition button, and changing the transition. Again, to get rid of a transition, highlight it, hit the delete key. And we'll click the inspector to put it away. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar exploring the new cut page in DaVinci Resolve 17. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 325. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers a variety of software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.